Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another Minecraft 1.9 Let's Play. This is part three, and probably the finale, or at least a serious part of the finale, of my Minecraft 1.9 Let's Play, where I've been testing out quite a few cool things in the new updates, such as dual wielding, and my favourite combination, by the way, has to be sword and pork chop. Like, it, it seems so pointless, but it's pretty cool. But in this episode, we're doing things more important than just having a sword and a pork chop out, and that important thing is fighting the Ender Dragon. That's right, we're going to fight the Ender Dragon, and then check out the new End Cities, because one of the big changes in 1.9, uh, one of the big ones that I always end up forgetting, but is one of my favorites, is they actually made it so that the end actually now expands essentially infinitely. It used to kind of have a cap, now it doesn't. And yeah, we're going to be fighting the end dragon. But first of all, we need to do... Oh, I guess we need to do a few things. I found the stronghold by using some crazy stuff, but I, I need to, first of all, enchant my stuff. If you check, we've got <laughs> very dead iron armor. We need to, I guess, first fix it and then enchant it, uh, or just get new stuff and enchant it. Second of all, we need to, I guess, make another iron pickaxe and just basically enchant, go to the nether, Go to the end, kill a dragon. Sound good, everyone? It sounds good to me. So, uh, we've got a literal stack of pork chops, because, uh, you know, I've got some more on a chest. But basically, uh, getting food has been really easy. I have this massive planes, which meant that finding food was awesome, and also finding ender pulse was easy. I've got 11 of those, and uh, yeah, that's that. In fact, it took me, like, four hours today to do all this stuff. Like, I was like, I'll spend an hour, get the ender pearls, get the diamonds, get the lapis. But by the time you actually end up doing it all, it really adds up fast. So, let's first of all... Mm, sharpness one, that's very handy. Makes my sword a little bit stronger. Second of all, uh, should we enchant this pickaxe or get another one? Uh, we'll do that. Oh, wait, shield enchantment. Is that a... It's not a thing, is it? <laughs> that's, a, that's a shame. You could, I feel like shield, shield enchantments could be really cool. Um, Then we need to make some new armor because this armor doesn't really work too well. And then we'll enchant that. And then the protection one should give us a nice boost. So, yeah, that's... Uh, Let's go for this one, shall we? Just, um, I always forget the clever ways of doing this, because I know there's a way to make it so you make boots. You can make, like, two bits of armor at one time, so we'll make that and that. And then we'll make the helmet and we'll make the leggings, uh, just like this. Gotta, gotta make, you know, the use of the manual crafting system, like I <laughs> just mentioned in earlier video. So there we go, do that, and then we go a bit fine. And boom, now we've got armor that we can enchant that we know will last rather than just immediately break. So, okay, we're hoping for protection one on everything we're in here, so we'll put four bits in there. Uh, protection one is really the dream for everything, so come on. Yeah, protection one. Actually, it tells me, so there's no dream, is there? I'll project on protection. I don't really want that. Can we go for something else, maybe? No, it, that's that's our only choice. So let's just... Oh, wait, wait, what, what we can do? This is really clever. If you have... Oh, no, we don't have a broken one. If you have a broken part of equipment for something you don't want, you can just, uh, you know, you can enchant that first and do some clever stuff. So yeah, it's going to be, yeah, uh, that's going to be pretty cool. So... Uh, projectile protection, it's not useful at all, but it's nice to believe in. Uh, I don't want unbreaking, I don't want projectile protection more though. So we'll go for unbreaking just by itself. Uh, we'll get another bit of leggings and do that instead. But this is where we really need project. <laughs> okay, so what we can just do, because we have enough lapis azuli, here's what I recommend doing with the new enchantment system. So we'll put projectile protection on there now as a good backup, but instead, oh, don't throw that on the ground. Instead, what we can just do, because we have enough iron, like I, I went mining a whole bunch, we can just make a whole another set of armor for stuff we don't want so we got good boots and that was about it so we just <laughs> let's just remake everything else uh useful little uh, tip right here so um we need to make the chest plate first then we'll make the leggings and the helmet and we'll just go for round two you know when it doesn't work the first time just make another set of it so that that means because you know having protection one really might save our life and why why gamble with your life when you can just regamble well i guess why gamble with your life once when you can gamble twice that's that's not a life lesson right there, but you can take this one. Uh, protection one, boom, perfect. So now we got that big boost to our uh, chest plate. Protection one, oh, perfect, come on. I'm breaking one. Uh, oh, protection one, so we just have to put three in there. And put, oh, we don't have the levels. Um, can we get the levels? Probably not. So let's just put on breaking on there. We tried. <laughs> we really did. So that's all that really counts for now. Uh, what we could really do if we wanted to be extra clever, which, you know, why not? You know, we've gone through all this effort. We have enough uh, iron and we have a bunch more on the furnace, right? To actually, yeah, we got, we can actually make a anvil with some of that. And then we can go for like round three on the chest plate and just, yeah, let's, yeah, let's just go all in. Like, we're not going to use this iron any other way. It's like the, the mini finale and it's going to be pretty cool. So... Uh, what you want to do is, um, if you want to be, you know, a poor person with enchantments, which is what I'm doing here, where you're like, oh, you know what, I don't want to go for level 30, let's just do level 1 over and over again, which is my favorite way to do it, by the way. Um, the best way to do it is, uh, so put free in there. Protect our protection, we don't want that, so if we put that in there instead, we'll let that waste it up. Then we put this in there, and we get protection, and boom, now if we use an anvil, <laughs> we have so much stuff that, like, is uh, kind of going to go to waste here, but again, it's, it's worth it to waste stuff to save your life. So then we put, uh... Again, I have no idea how a um, no idea how an anvil is actually made. I think you need three blocks of iron, uh, and then it's oh, I did that wrong. It's three blocks of iron and then something else because the, these are the top or the bottom, and then the rest is this. Did I do that right? 
Oh yeah, we did it. Awesome. So then we use the anvil and the last remaining bit of level we do have, just like so. Uh, we probably should have taken this with us somewhere. We put the two together, cost two, and boom, we got protection two on our chest plate. Then we get uh, our helmet, I believe has projectile protection, and then our leggings have protection, and even our boots do. Awesome. Just like that, uh, having the protection shaman is a lot less valuable, 1.9. They nerfed it severely, but it's still something you want to have. And now I got the best possible set using, did I use 11 levels for that versus, you know, 30 what you might use for a single enchantment on a single thing? Useful, useful little thing right there. So, um, yeah, also welcome everyone in the chat. I don't think I've probably said it. I, I like to uh, say hello. I also like to say like for you if you haven't already, because it helps out the uh, the channel uh, the channel a lot and lets me do like the let's play. And I think we're going to go to the the uh, Never Now because it's turning nighttime already, which is a good sign you don't want to be in the overworld too long. We've got our bow. We should make a shovel actually to get some snow. Uh, so, do we have some sticks on us? No, we don't. But let's make some sticks. Uh, we're going to make a shovel so we can get some snow and oh we need to then throw away all this crap because it's just filling up my inventory and I really don't need it so all this other stuff we'll throw in a chest we might come back to this at some point but this is basically throwing it away in a fire except it, it might come up in the future probably not but it's good to hope you know uh, do we need more torches probably not do we need anything I mean more arrows would be nice but <laughs> we all know my opinion on making arrows so okay that's everything let's go to the nether and let's get those blaze rods so um, yeah, when it comes to finding blazes on the PC, it's actually a reasonable bit harder than the, um, the console. Because the console never is finite, which means they have to have at least one... Ooh, this frame rate is, uh, not the most positive thing in the world. Um, but yeah, because there's only, um, you know, there's, they have to have at least one on the console, it means you always find one in some amount of time. On the PC, you can go technically hundreds of thousand blocks without finding one. It never actually works that way, and we probably went past one on the way anyway. So, yeah, that's going to be as soon as that. So, um, go to the end. I want to go... Should we have... Actually, should we... Okay. Quick chat vote, because we got a long run there anyway. Uh, should we go to the... Uh, find the stronghold first, because I know roughly where it is. Or should we um, kill the blazers first? Because we've got the uh, the ender pearls, or 11 of them. Hopefully we don't need another one. Uh, we've got the ender pearls all locked down. But should we um, make sure the stronghold and we know how many we're getting first? Or What, what do you think? Give me your opinion. So, uh, your two choices here are end or... Fortress. Yeah, and uh, no, Stronghold or Fortress. Stronghold or Fortress. Because we can't go to the end without the blazers from the Fortress. And it, it kind of makes sense to do all at once, but there's also the aspect of like, you know, make sure we are sure where we're actually going. Because uh, it's, it's kind of a handy thing. Uh, why are you streaming at 9pm? Um, I, the Let's Play streams, I think I'd do a little bit later. Because the first one was like, oh, it's Let's Play Monday. Let's, cause let's Play Monday, wakes up. Sorry, um, let's say Monday always goes up at um, 9 p.m. Uh, UK time, or <laughs> whatever your local time is right now. Um, and I figured, you know, if we're gonna stream it, which sh oh no, we're gonna get knocked off if we're not careful. Okay, okay, he's trying as hard as he can. Okay, <laughs> gotta be fast, gotta be fast. Okay, we, we, we made it, we made it, just barely. You you might be able to hear him like firing and just missing. Uh, it's it's one of the most useful tips you'll never be told uh, to avoid a ghast, honestly. You can just stay on the move for the most part, and that will work quite well until there's two ghasts. <laughs> uh, or, did, or maybe it just hit me from a, you know, the side. I don't know what happened there, but it, uh, it was pretty scary. Yeah, now we just go through this little tunnel thing here. Uh, the honestly, the route to the end is, or the route to um, where we were yesterday is really convoluted, but there's there's good reasons behind that. Or is there? I don't think there is, but there's semi good reasons behind it. Okay, so chat is. Um, I want to say stronghold. Okay, but wait. If, okay, if we can account blazes and because a lot of people are saying blazes, which I, I guess I think I said blaze first. Um, oh, <laughs> I I like it more when it's like a clear cut winner, but um, you're already going to the blazes. Um, yeah, but the you got to bear in mind the ends also this way because so basically here's uh, here's a way to picture it. The end is at that portal I was at before. Oh no, wait, the end. Oh, no, never mind. They're both really far away. But, yeah, I'm kind of going to both. Uh, oh. There's a lot of people saying either, which I guess I like. I mean, see, it's nice to have a neutral crowd, though. I'm going to be upset with either decision. Um, yeah, so I think if we're going to... Because I, I love the chat polls. It's like a, a live, you get to pick what happens. I think people have generally chosen Stronghold. It seems that way. No. <laughs> it just flickers back and forth. It's, it's too close to property cool. Like with the uh, giant lava pit versus regular lava pit. Uh, the, the true debates are end all debates. 
Actually, I think that's kind of like a, a commentary on, um, <laughs> if you think that, it's like, oh, it's kind of like a commentary on voting in general. The, uh, the most hotly contested debate probably was uh, giant lava pit or regular sized lava pit. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's that's still one of my favorite. Uh, I get, yeah, that's like I said, it's an analogy for the whole voting process in some places. Anyway, um, hit the fireball. Yeah, I actually, on the, uh, I'm so used to not being able to hit fireballs because on the console, uh, fireball just, they, you know, they, they glitch and you can never hit them back. Uh, whereas on BC, you actually do it. So next time I need to bear in mind, just do that. But <laughs> this time I didn't, and it clearly. But yeah, so um, we're very, very close to our first portal. This is the one that ended up in the swamp slash mesa biome. But then we have to go to a second portal, which we actually have to make uh, a little bit further sh uh, ashore, further afield. Uh, and that's going to be our stronghold, which is where we'll go first, just because it's on the way. And, you know, to... To, to tie between the two, we'll do that first. So yeah, this is the Mesa slash Swamp. We're about 6,000 blocks away from spawn now. And then I guess this one's probably more like eight, 9,000. Uh, because the way... Okay, so this is something really cool I did um, research. The way uh, strongholds generate as of 1.9, uh, it used to just be that there was three strongholds in your world and they they dotted around spawn roughly, um, on the PC at least. Uh, the way they made it work in 1.9 and the way I hope carries over to the console, at least for large world sizes, is... Um, Oh wait, is this correct? Okay, yeah. Follow follow the cobblestone brick trail, because I, I made the rough location so I wouldn't get lost. But uh, the way uh, uh, Stronghold Generation works on the PC now, it's really cool because it generates in rings. So you have three Strongholds, roughly making a circle, or you, you can't make a circle, but a triangle around the spawn. And then after that, there's more and more Strongholds, making wider and wider circles. So uh, you can get the exact... Uh, oh, jeez, should we do this? Okay, now we're safe, we're safe. Let's run across the super dangerous cobble pathway. Oh. I just, I just hear noises and feel unsafe in the Never. I guess that describes my entire experience. But yeah, we're gonna make the thing first, then we're gonna look for the fortress, and then everything's gonna be great. Because uh, in theory, we could have found a uh, thing on the way here. Like, um, um, nah. Again, <laughs> I was like, what if there's one over there? But it's, there's not. There's not. So yeah, someone says, what did you have for breakfast today? That's a really good question. Oh, I, ha <laughs> this is ridiculous. I had, um, I think it was chicken casserole for breakfast today. Because I, I needed to have, like, a breakfast that could just sustain me for, like, an hour later than normal lunch. Because, how do you make a portal? Okay, that's what, I was like, I, I can't work out how we're making this portal. So, yeah, the portal's going to go roughly just up here. Uh, I think that takes me to where I need to be. I know, the all I know about the portal, because I was going to just do it using end pearls, but, I mean, eye fenders. But it's, it just takes so much longer to do the exact same thing as if we just find out the location, uh, uh, you know, location using a finder. So, that's what I did. Um... Hate me if you want to. <laughs> and now if we make one here, we should end up at the... So it was like a plains uh, mixed with tiger. If we get that, we'll be in a pretty good place. So let's hope we get that so that we'll be in a pretty good place, maybe? <laughs> okay. Long, long wait. Maybe a crash? Okay, no. No crash. So we got the plains, but... But we don't have the... Um, we don't have the... Uh, <laughs> The would you call it to go with it? Uh, there should be a plains with a tiger nearby. It could just be that I went too many blocks off in one direction. Okay, there's the tiger. There's the tiger. Uh, it looks like a different part of the tiger. Oh, okay. So I, I'm, I've got my bearings now. Uh, that, that was really worrying at first. Like, oh, well, I thought I knew where the stronghold was, but I guess we're finding it live. Uh, this has turned from a, you know, hour and a bit stream to six and a bit hours while we throw and uh, I offenders uh, nonstop. Okay, so um. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, like I, I'm trying to, like, both keep an eye on chat and also uh, not die to all these monsters. Kind of a terrifying task, as it turns out. So, yeah, I believe it was just about here. Maybe it was... Uh, yeah, I think this is the location of the stronghold. Uh, again, I didn't want it to be too precise, because that just feels like... Uh, I don't know, but is this, this... This seems somewhat right. Let's just dig... Let's just pick a place. Um... Make a marker. Place a bed. Oh, let's wait. Let's let's place the bed up here. That's that's an idea. Place the bed. Can we go to sleep? Oh, we can go to sleep now. Oh, we've got some arrows in our neck. Well, in our knee, you could say. You could say some terrible joke about an arrow to the knee and then hate yourself for it. Always an option. Uh, <laughs> honestly, like uh, that when that arrow to the knee thing was big. You know, back when Skyrimer just came out. I don't know why, but arrow to the knee joke like. They got me extra hard, like... So sometimes there are just certain jokes where I just, I just... Also, is that Creeper? Is that... Should we just attack him? I think we should. 
There are certain like internet jokes that I just hate, especially bad. Well, here's a good place to start mining, I guess, as it turns out. As long as a creepy doesn't come from behind. Which actually, now we've got the full iron armor, we'll probably be safe from that. So now we should have to dig down, try and find the stronghold. Uh, we should be doing a circular dig, so instead I'll be do, it, do this weird thing. And that's that. So, um... 1.9 comes out tomorrow. Uh, so 1.9 doesn't actually come out tomorrow. Um, they delayed it um, a few days. Uh, I mentioned this in my old video. Like I put the new release date on the screen and whatnot. Or not on the screen, in the description. And maybe in the title, actually. Uh, yeah, basically they moved the 1.9 release date because it's <laughs> leave here that day. I still don't understand the logic. Obviously it is just like, we want to delay it and it'd be nice if it comes out on a leap day. But I mean, it still sounds a little bit ridiculous. Like, oh, well, you know this update that we've been waiting for so long and we finally get a release date for? We're moving it back for a leap day. And it's like, okay then, that's interesting. So I honestly, I'm starting to believe that they won't release it on that day. Because I, I was so sure it would come out this Thursday. Like, what, what are you going to do? Just not have it come out the day everyone wants it? And apparently the answer to that question is, yeah, of course that's what they're going to do. Okay, so we need to really find the stronghold. If we get to like 20 and we haven't found it yet, because strongholds are usually higher up than um, you might imagine. Then we're in for some real problems. But as long as we find it before then, we'll be pretty good. So, uh, again, I <laughs> I know it's somewhere in this loose area. Worst case, you know, truly worst case scenario, we know the loose area, so we just throw one eye offender, and that will give us a good enough idea. But the, the the real dream here is that we can just find the thing, right? Okay, so the pork shop looks like a gun for some reason. <laughs> I, can actually, I can actually see what you mean by that. Um, elemental nightmare. I actually see what you mean by that. Um, like, it, it doesn't look like a serious gun. It looks like a pork shop gun, but... It does look like I'm threatening the blocks, like, while I mine them. Like, how about no one talks, and uh, we're all a little bit happier, yeah? Also, uh, so maybe we go back a little bit. Uh, I, I definitely did this in a way more confusing way than I needed to. But yeah, oh, 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 okay, we found a cave, which hopefully will lead us to the thing. I don't know if it works that way, but it's going to have to for now. So we just take the full damage. It's okay. Build ourselves up. This is not a stronghold. Um... I feel like I was lied to. I've, I, the brochures definitely said stronghold over here. Uh, we, we, we'll hopefully find from one of these caves, because, again, we're if we're at the area where a stronghold should be, any cave has a good likelihood of running into some stone bricks or something like that. Which means in this particular case... Oh, more gold. I don't really need that too badly. Oh, there we go. Proved my point. Uh, <laughs> see, look, it just, it just goes straight into the cave. That's lovely. So now we have to navigate the entire stronghold. Uh, oh, okay, there's some zombies. That's... I was going to say a problem, but it's really not. Oh, cool thing about 1.9 that I haven't shown off yet, is you can actually group attack if close stuff is close together, like that. Do you see that? Attack both at the same time. Save Jubal. Oh, okay, we've got a whole horde of zombies. Fortunately, the group attack is going to come in handy here. <laughs> Boom, awesome. Yeah, I think that's really uh, nice, because obviously you can't spam anymore, so to protect you from hordes, this is all you've really got. Also, zombies definitely cool reinforcements, like... There is a... Or maybe there's a spawner. Okay, it's not that. It's just... They call it... Wait, did you see that creeper up there? Oh. That was... Okay, there's a creeper up there. Come down here. Say hello. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Um, did you know that colors are made by your brain? Thank you very much for that insight. They actually are, yes. Um, it's actually a really cool psychological concept. Like, does everyone else see the same colors as you do? Because there's no way you can confirm what a color looks like, right? Like, if I say that's green, like grass... Then if your grass looks like my red, for instance, or my grass looks like your red, how would we ever communicate that? So, I mean, just a random... Every now and then I pick up a random comment like that. I'll turn it into something better than it is, you know? <laughs> I'm sure they were just like, oh, that's that's some grade A psychology. But actually, it's grade B psychology. Or grade A plus, or a, a star as it is here. It's one of the big things that annoys me about American media, like they call it um, A plus. But here, here, for some reason, we call them A stars. And, uh, and that's it. I don't know why we don't just call them A-pluses, like, you know, A-plus indicates it's, oh, okay, well, we're going to set you on fire. Uh, we could do a real thing, but it's way more fun to just set Silkfish on fire. Actually, wait, that makes them more deadly, because they'll set me on fire, won't they? So, instead, let's just break our way in here. Um, break the thing. Check the, oh, we got two eye offenders in there. So we actually, we have a spare one, I think. Also, is that? Okay, that's nothing. Yeah, we have a spare uh, eye offender now. We found the stronghold, now we just need to find our way back. So, this is actually the real issue. So, if we turn... Oh, what am I <laughs> What was I doing there? If we turn all of this into sticks, then we can make a bunch of coal... I mean, a bunch of torches, which we now conveniently need. 
then we can make like a torch trail from here back to the spawn. Honestly, we, we went through a cave, well, we went, went through a tunnel, into a cave, round the cave, into a stronghold, through a ravine, I think. I didn't even, I was like kind of busy talking about colors or something. I missed that bit. And then we've, okay, so this is, this is doable. We'll just place a torch every few blocks. Um, oh, okay, we can follow the, that. Then probably across, no wait, this was a failed pathway. I remember that much. So then it's over down to here. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy this stronghold. Sometimes, uh, like the problem with searching strongholds is you know that you might be in there forever because some strongholds do not have their end portals directly connected to them, which is the most frustrating thing in the world because you can literally spend hours thinking, ah, oh, I don't know how to get around the stronghold, but it's actually just the, the stronghold's fault. So yeah, blame the stronghold sometimes. Oh, this isn't right. <laughs> Yeah, but letting the stronghold isn't sometimes entirely the thing you should do. So I guess we got to break up into the wall here. Uh, okay, that, that wasn't a good idea. Okay, next up, so we've done the stronghold. Everyone who voted for stronghold, you can be happy that Moxie was indeed in fact. But next up, we have to go to the... Well, we, we have to find a Never Fortress, and then we've got to go to it. I guess, logically, once we find it. Yeah, once we find it, we go to it, because you find it from a distance, then you realise... Let's go in that direction. Now that's what we're doing today. So now I just need to make sure this is really clear. In fact, I'm going to go down here once more. We don't really need to do that. And we're good. So, um... At IBX Ticket, how's your day? My day's been pretty good so far. Um, I've been uh, having... While this, while these, uh, you know, 1.9 streams have been going on, I've been playing just 1.9 most of the day. Because uh, I was, you know, usually I'm just making videos most of the day, but... Because this is one of those, and I make another video in the morning. It's just like, okay, for the rest of the day, let's just play a bunch of 1.9. Let's really get a feel for it, because one of the things... Uh, th there's a lot of interesting things uh, you find in Minecraft where, like, the theory works one way, then the gameplay works the other. And uh, I've, I've been enjoying just playing Minecraft and being like, well, this is technically technically just research me playing Minecraft for four hours, because it helps out the stream later. Um, it's a nice feeling to have. Okay, so now I've lost the way back to the portal. So we'll use the cobblestone pathway. Oh wait, we need to not do that unless this is the right way. Which it is because we placed the blocks there. Okay, so the portal should be an obvious sign. Like there should be something pointing to it. And there we go. So, oh, so, uh, so lots of people are saying go to the end. It's like, we found the portal, we're just going to leave it. Um, obviously you need to get the blaze rods first. I have not even encountered a blaze, let alone a wolf skeleton or anything like that on this world yet. So, okay, there's the portal. So... Place some blocks just so I know where I'm going all the time. Uh, oh, we can we can do like live parkour on the blocks if we want to. And boom, so in we go. Let's give this a shot. Someone, so someone said, yeah, I made it to a stream, then gave me corners for a jungle. And then it's like in the hundreds of thousands. It kind of worries me that the jungle might actually be that far out. Also, sorry about the FPS dropping that happens when we get into the nether. Uh, it's because um, I turned up my run distance a lot higher. So that we could see a bit more on the nether. Because there's something about the nether that means it's not so um, good on the frame rates. If I had to assume it's something to do with like all of the uh, you know the lava just pouring from the ceiling. Uh, stuff like that probably doesn't help too much. Anyway, we, we've secured another portal. Always a good idea. Because you, you never realise you need to secure your portals until it's too late. And then you want to desperately secure them. And next up we've got to find ourselves the stronghold. I thought I saw it in the distance there, but I was imagining it. Uh, the fortress. So, Never Fortress is kind of the Never equivalent of a stronghold. At least that's how it's sold to us. Uh, and obviously, you, they're randomly generated. I don't know if there are any patterns on how to find them. I'm pretty sure they can just generate anywhere. Like, um, you know, they just pick random corners and spawn there. And that's going to be that. So, this is our next little challenge. We've got to find a fortress. Which, again, I, I think it's going to be fast because... Before we were going in one direction, which actually we should do now, shouldn't we? Oh, is that one over there? No, it's not. Always oh, looks the side. You see a little bit better from your distance. Also, we should be doing like a little brick trail. Oh, no. Okay, let's just keep going this way, in fact. Uh, we'll look up there, and if not, we'll turn back. Because I, I don't want to get too far away from a portal. Because being lost on stream is uh, kind of terrifying to me. Because it's not... A, you know, being lost in Minecraft in general is not, a, not the best of feelings. But on a stream, it's like, there is genuine pressure on me right now to find my way home. And I don't know how I'm going to respond to that. And yeah, that's that. So, um... That's kind of the answer there. Use breadcrumbs, let's say, in Cali. Well, if you think about it, cobblestone is like breadcrumbs. Just in Minecraft. Because, I mean... Uh, I was, I was going to think, like, what mob eats cobblestone? I don't think any mobs eat cobblestone, Toy Cat. That's not the best of things. Um, side note. 
no, no side note. <laughs> Oh, okay. We, okay, so here's, okay. Let me let me show you. So on the console, whenever you try to hit gas fireball back at them, it never seems to properly work. But here on the PC, boom! Look at that. Oh wait, I I missed a little bit. Just it's so much easier. Like oh okay, <laughs> proving ourselves wrong there. Oh, okay, I'm I'm doing this. It's happening. Okay, I missed that one. I just want to take out this blaze out of prince. I mean this gas out of principle now. Come on, you can do it. Okay, it's just gone now. <laughs> Whatever. So next up, let's go this direction. Uh, for as, again, as long as we can. I guess we're going to angle straight to the right, aren't we? So, okay, are you playing Minecraft Xbox One Edition? Um, no, this is the PC. Minecraft uh, 1.9 is coming to console later in the year, and the features will slowly bleed into the, the Pocket Edition over time. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, no. I, again, I thought that was a stronghold, uh, a fortress over there. That was incorrect. So, actually, should we, we'll make a pathway down. It's, it's less dangerous. So a big pit of... A big... I don't even know what to call that off lava. A big full of lava is over there. And actually, wait. Is that... That is a... Is it... Is that a fortress? Okay, that 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 confirms it's a fortress. At the very least, it has blazes. And that means we want in. Okay. That's nice. Okay, well, how do we get there? With great difficulty, it seems. Okay, so we just make it... Oh, okay, a little cobble pathway. And then we go on to the safe bit. Then we take some damage from falling, because full damage... Oh, okay. And then we run, because he's gotten closer to us. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, at least we tried. You know, we, di we didn't just give up our principles immediately. We gave up them as soon as we were threatened. So is there an easier way around, actually? Okay, that's, that's scary, too. <laughs> if we could go around that big lava pit in the sky... Lava pit? Lava... Oh, also, give it a second. I have to just load this up, make sure that's good. If we just go kind of round... That, we maybe we can do this. Yeah, let's give that a try. Because I definitely don't want to walk into the um, the fire. I mean the the blaze fire. Like fire fire. <laughs> See, it's 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 annoying because what I mean is like fire is in like when someone shoots at you, you're taking fire. But it's also fire is in you know he's firing fire at me, and it's also fire because he is made of fire. So that sentence it it makes triple sense and it also makes like no sense. So instead of Relodge, re relodge king. Instead of relodge king, that. Let's just uh, let's just leave it behind. Let's just pretend that sentence didn't exist. Uh, make this a little bit better. Stack this up one more. Wasting a lot of cobblestone here, but it's fine. And boom, we got ourselves a little pathway back up. And I think this takes us all the way to the fortress. If not, it takes us very close. Oh wait, wait, wait! Look, boom. Okay, we're here. Surprisingly, um, surprisingly close to the. I might be. Able, no, I can't see the portal from here. But still, kind of nice that it's this close. And next up, we should find... Oh, wait, okay. Here's a sneaky way in. And now we're going to torch the place up, because it's kind of dark and depressing. Or, actually, well, I reckon it is. Um, if we can turn up our video setting... Okay, no, it's on bright already. Because, um, you know... Uh, on the PC, the, the brightness settings are a little bit different from the way Gamma works on console, I think. And it's a little bit more effective. So, take the gold. Don't want the never... Uh, never whatever it's called. I, I was literally just looking at the name, and that's that. So yeah, we're going to run around this place. We're going to walk into a blaze at some point, and also with skeletons, because that's the way life works. Oh, there we go. Oh, or do you know, both at the same time. So, because we've got this super sword, things are actually quite easy for us. Oh, and <laughs> the wolf skeleton's trapped because he's three blocks tall, and that's two and a half blocks. Or he's 2.8 blocks tall now, but still. Same, same effect. Which is, yeah, one of my favorite. Oh, wow, he, he drops his sword, too. So we just get the bare minimum distance away. Do that. Place another torch for safety or something. And then go and attack. Oh, what, what's going wrong here? <laughs> See, I, I really need to get the hang of this weapon swinging thing before we fight a major boss, like, say, the Inner Dragon. But we'll probably be good. So, yeah, we need precisely five of these. Uh, a sixth would go be good practice. So we'll make one of those. Oh, apparently I was... Wait. I was being fired at by a... Did you hear that? You, did, you, did anyone else hear the uh, the noises? Oh, there you are. Well, it's nice to know I wasn't just imagining those noises. <laughs> on the other hand, I'm on fire, so that's not quite so nice. Oh, what I could totally do, because I have more iron left, is I can make a culture and I don't want to... You know, I'm just not going to... I'm not going to follow him. <laughs> I feel like that's a trap. I feel like I don't win from that uh, fight. Okay, so next up, we break through this wall up here. Things getting pretty crazy around here. Um, oh, and we're back to the same chest. Okay. So at least we can now go from here to that first blaze, right? Because he came out from here. Did he? 
I thought he did. I could. Oh, okay, so there, there's the blaze again. He's come out from hiding. So we'll... It's not a good idea to go on top of here because there's no cover. So we'll go through it, and I believe that takes me right back to him. We'll charge. We'll take some damage. But it'll be alright in the end. Yeah, that's how this works. Okay, so go, go. Swipe, swipe. So yeah, it seems like two critical hits for the diamond sword with sharpness is enough. Not enough to give me a blaze rod, which are now quite a bit rarer. We have to do quite a few of these kills. But still, kind of a handy little thing. Um, someone says, I told you not to be hit by the blaze. Thank you for that idea. I <laughs> um, if, if only I had come up with such an idea by myself, I, I might too be uh, just as good at Minecraft as you might clearly be. Well, if you're avoiding blaze hits, then you've got to be pretty good. But yeah, it's like, okay, so on the stream, it's actually not quite so dark, but for my screen, because there's a lot of uh, artificial brightness on this monitor. Or artificial brightness? I don't know if that's the term. But uh, the, my monitor setting has a lot of brightness on it. It means things look a little bit bizarre. So in case you'd like, if you're seeing me like squint and look bizarrely at it, that's why. Side note also, by the way, there's face cam here. Hello. Um, you might notice I'm looking down here. That's because the ca webcam is on top of the monitor. So I'm looking at you now. But the screen's down here. So <laughs> someone's like, you should look at the camera. It's like, well, I could look at the camera or I could look at the game. I mean, <laughs> those are the two choices. And, uh, you know, be, if I was if I wasn't in the Never, I'd try and play Minecraft without looking at it. But I feel like this is just a horrendous um, time to do that, if you ask me. Oh, we get, there's just so many of these chests around, and I feel like one of them... Well, we're getting a bunch of gold, which is nice. Uh, we can't make an enchanted golden apple, but we can make a regular one, I guess. Oh, yeah, that'd be actually that'd be pretty useful. So... Okay, so we're just running around this place looking for a blaze spawner. Uh, we can we can keep attacking individual blazes, but it's just way more efficient to find a uh, spawner of them. Of course, oh, okay. Didn't need a spawner, as it turns out. Oh, come on. Oh, did it twice in a row. Got two blaze rods. Now we need just two more. Or again, three for good practice. And also, this never fortress is like pretty giant, if you ask me. Like that's where we were before, and we've gone through all of this mess. And yeah, let's quickly just knock him off. Oh, something you have to be careful of now is because of the swipe attack, you know, the fact that it's a range attack, if there is a zombie pigment nearby, you can't attack the... Oh, there we go. Just what I asked for. Perfect. Okay, so it's risky. But with high risk comes high reward. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to get, like, start on fire, but evidently not. So now we just wait. Oh, that's nice. So we wait. Let's read chat messages. Great idea. Um, again, tip don't take damage, says Raphael. Thank you very much for the tip. Um, again, you're on you're on the same level as this other guy. If only I could uh, work out your ways. What's, how do I not take... Okay. <laughs> I feel like... Okay, I, I definitely asked for that. Like, quite literally. Um, yeah, I was very surprised I didn't take fire damage. Oh, we still don't actually have it all yet. Um, every time we start running low on her hunger, we do this. And our health goes up pretty fast. Because although they nerfed combat in a lot of ways, they did buff healing to some extent. And it means doing dangerous stuff like this, if you're in control, and if you've got the pork shop in your left hand, which is my pro tip, probably my favorite pro tip this update, you'll do pretty well. So, oh, we got three this time, do we? Okay, that's nice to know. Oh, there's four, in fact. Okay. So we're going to try and swipe all three at the same time. Or oh, four. Okay. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're going to get out of here. We're going to get out of here. <laughs> uh, it was nice meeting you, you gentlemen. But I must be on my way. Actually, do blazers have a gender? I mean... Because if they do, it's probably impolite for me to call them gentlemen, right? You know, I I think I think at the point where you're firing fire at someone, I think the correct the uh, the correct terminology might not have to be okay. There we go. Now it might not have to be the first thing on your mind. Come on, that's one more down. Two more down. Three more down. Giving us the sixth blaze rod, and now we're done. We can get away from this place forever. And now we just have to make it home without dying. Which <laughs> the uh, we've got like you know the. Do you hear that? We have like a, a knight thing over here. Oh, he looks like a knight. The, the wither. It'd be so much cooler if it was called the wither knight, right? But yeah, he's he looks surprisingly like a knight to me, at the very least. Um, we're going to build around this, because I think we might be faster just going around the stronghold, right? Or around the fortress. And then we're going to run along the free land until we're back at the fortress. So I will avoid making the IF Enders until we... Oh, there's even more uh, fortress down there. But yeah, I'll avoid making the uh, eye offenders until we're back in the overworld. The never's just too dangerous to, <laughs> to sit around doing anything. Um, especially at this level. Of, like, we've got everything we need now. 
Let's not ruin this. Toy Cat, you're, you're, you're really good at taking big risks you shouldn't. Now is not the time for that. <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's eat this up. Let's go to the other world again. Mm, pumped. So this is the final showdown in the other world. Actually, what do we need to bring? Um, okay, everyone in chat, say what you think I should bring. And that way, you know, if there's like an obvious lawn, like someone's like, Toy Cat, you didn't bring. Insert big thing here. Then I'll remember it. Uh, and yeah, if, if there's also just something fun I should bring, we can get that done. So that's what we'll do there. So next up, we need to find snow, which, uh, so if we look at the, okay, so looking around here, that's the way to the stronghold. There's snow up there, but it looks pretty far away. There might be some snow up there because it's pretty high up. Uh, I'd rather there was snow closer than there, but that probably looks like, oh, there's pumpkins. <laughs> that's probably our closest um, snow, isn't it? Yeah, probably, you know what, let's just, let's just make the journey. Oh, can we make it by... We didn't bring the saddle. This is why I always bring the saddle, but... Yeah, that's that. So we're going to make the blaze rods into blaze powder. Oh, I, we could totally make a... um. Well, no, not anymore, we can't. Could have totally made a brewing stand and... You know what? I should have done that. <laughs> no justification, actually. Uh, oh, wait, healing po oh, potions, they're nice. But let, let's not, we, we, we've, got, we've got limited time. Let's make the most of this. So 11 eye offenders and a bit of place powder left over. Always a nice thing to have, I guess. And let's... Actually, do, do I need the 11th eye offender? I kind of don't, but... Whatever. Again, we've got it. It's fine. Um, okay, so bow. I have a bow, right? Okay, I've got a bow. It's terribly damaged. But it's fine because I've only got four arrows. So there's that. You have no armor, Toy Cat. Wait a minute. Okay, I checked. Oh, look, I have the minecon cave. I always forget I have that. It's pretty cool, in my opinion, because it looks like the minecon. Well, actually, I broke my minecon bag, but it looks like it, and that's all that counts. Oh, wait, if this is a proper snow biome, which I can't tell if it is yet, we might find the igloo we're looking for there. Oh, I also should have cobblestone the road here, so I'll just make a little monument so I don't get lost. But yeah, um, it looks like I might find the igloo that I was looking for after all. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be perfect. Uh, bring Doritos and Mountain Juice as well, Extreme. See, Doritos and Mountain Dew are both hated on as being like traditional gamer food, like marketed at us anyway. Where, but I drank both those things before that was a stereotype. And I mean, like, a part of me is like, oh, but you shouldn't now. But the other part of me is like, well, I'm just going to do it anyway. Oh, here's a cool combination you can now use snowball and shovel. So that way you can shovel, get some more snowballs, and throw them at the same time. Obviously, I don't recommend that because it's going to waste your stuff, but whatever. Uh, throw away these two bones. Not necessary right now. Uh, get another stack. Honestly, I, I, I'd like more than three stacks, but this is probably the limit of how useful it is. And we'll get rid of the 30 cobblestone, in fact. So do that. And the 17 cobblestone. There we go. <laughs> Replace it with snowballs. Awesome. So yeah, I don't, this isn't a true snow biome because it's just on top of a mountain. Uh, spruce trees are in right here just to, just to mess with you. That's not the official explanation, but it's the truth behind the matter. Uh, you drank Doritos, says Focus. Exactly. I drank both Mountain Dew and Doritos. Well, if you... Okay, okay, so this is something I haven't experimented with in a long time, and I don't think I had the correct materials. But if you if you take a bag of Doritos, you crunch it up, and you really crunch through the bag, then when you open it, you'll end up with the thing, something really close to a liquid, and you can drink your bag of Doritos. That's... I was going to say, like, that's, like, you know, mind-blown, but it's, like, the opposite, like, mind-unblown. <laughs> it's like, wow, I've never seen my opinion of someone fade so fast, Toy Cat. That's impressive. Throw away the never rick. Just have a spare space. Eat the pork chop. We have so many of these that I think we'll be fine for most of the battle, right? Like, I've never had a full stack of pork chops before today. It's just, it feels like they're never going to run out, even though in the past bit of this live stream, they've come close to running out. Well, not close, but, you know, we've gone through 20, <laughs> which is one every two minutes, meaning I can go on for another hour and 20 minutes, roughly. Oh, that's nice. Um, so okay, you can kill the end dragon with snowballs. I know you can kill the end dragon with snowballs, but I prefer using a sword personally, because I'm old school like that or something. I don't know if old school is the correct term anymore, but that's that. Uh, so yeah, now what we have to do is find the entrance to the stronghold, place the eye offenders, and then we're ready to go. I see why you never became a physicist. <laughs> no, that, trust me, that's physics. Because think about it, it's like a blender, but you make it with your hand. Uh, actually, I don't know if you could blend Doritos into a liquid. Using a blender. I should try it at some point. This is uh, this is one of the many videos you'll see. Um, 
if Toy Cat's ever using a blender. Because I, I have like an ice cream maker that's kind of like a blender. But I mean, it, it does say ice cream maker on it. So Well, I mean, it also makes milkshakes. And Doritos are basically milkshake, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what my logic is there. But we're going to follow it all the way to the end. Anyway, next up, Stronghold, which I've genuinely... Wait, do you see that? I just got hit by something. Oh, it's a skeleton. Hello. What's he doing out here at this time of day? This isn't when skeletons are meant to come out. Okay, so yeah, there was a big hole in the ground from a creeper explosion. This looks about right. There we go. So we're going to mark this off just so I can find this again. Just place a bunch of dirt. See if the skeleton's still following. He's not. Break our way down. No damage needed. And boom. Let's do this. Okay. You all ready for the big fight? Um, put Doritos and water in a blender, says UK. I don't put water in there, you know? That's that's going to be like... You don't, you wouldn't put Doritos and water by themselves. Actually, that's another experiment. I wonder if you're like... Can you get all of the flavor off a Dorito? And if so, what does it taste like? Because, you know, like sometimes you'll lick all the flavoring of something and it'll taste kind of bland. I imagine if you use water, it'll be like that to the next level. But only one way to... Oh, we went the wrong way. <laughs> only one way to find out. I even have a staircase to tell me to go the right way. And uh, apparently that's not enough for me. So just one more torch needed. Get rid of a skeleton. Oh, jeez. He's going to do his thing on me. I think skeletons have more health in this update because they seem to take more for beating. It could be that I'm just attacking too fast. It's probably that, in fact. But still, it feels uh, slightly different. Um, so, bring the pork chop gun so he can't, says Genie Games. That's a good point there. Gotta, gotta threaten that dragon. Otherwise, what's he gonna do? Okay, so just a quick little check I need to do uh, before we go here. Thank you very much, by the way, to everyone who is watching right now. We have over 1,500 people watching, which is crazy. And thank you to everyone who has liked the stream. Helps out this a lot. Unless maybe you do want to see more of these. Because, like, streaming is something that obviously is going to become a bigger and bigger thing. And YouTube gaming streaming isn't something I see many people hop aboard. So if you like the YouTube, if, if you like watching streams on YouTube and you want to see more from me in particular, like is a, a great way to send the signal. Also, something, something, and a dragon kill. Let's do this. Or we could make... No, we can't make a chest. Oh, I hear noises. Never want to fall into this lava. Like That's the most embarrassing way to die. So, are we ready to do this? One, two, three, four. I'm always scared I'll mess one up, but I have a spare. So I don't have to worry too much here. I think I'm ready to do this. Um, okay, full, full, full uh, inventory rearrangement here now. Ooh. I kind of want to bring an extra bit of wood. So I can craft another pickaxe should this one die. That's... Um, is there any way to find wood around her? Uh, there's doors. Not too useful. Is there any, like, easy wood to take? There isn't, is there? We're doing this with this current pickaxe, or not at all? It looks like. Because... Oh, wait, no, wait, there's the libraries, right? And now they... Look, I just... I'm really worried. Worried about health stuff. So I get beat your old record of three minutes. Uh, that's a... Hmm. Okay, let's do that. Let's just... You know, who has regrets? Let's just do it. Um, we're going to replace this with that. Going to get the snowballs out right now. Uh, put them over here. We're going to throw away something in the inventory we don't need anymore. Um, rotten flesh. Probably not going to come in handy today. And then we're going to do this. Oh, okay. Oh, we got a nice box. I like these boxes. They're like safety boxes. Uh, it makes you, makes you feel a little bit safer about the whole world. Let's let's fight the end dragon. So we're not doing any time run or anything like that. As fun as I think that'd be, like 1.9 race the end dragon at some point. But instead, what we'll do is we'll um wait. Well, uh, well instead we'll just uh, we'll do it t somewhat timely. But we need to do it safely. That's the big thing. Um, they have, they made the end dragon fight a lot harder in 1.9. Again, I love that they had to take a lot of stuff from console to do that, you know? It's almost like feeling proud or something. But yeah, we're here. We're just gonna crouch, make sure the end dragon doesn't see us, or never mind. <laughs> you know, oh, okay, and just like that, you can see why he is kind of a dangerous fella. Because he's now got all the attacks from the console end dragon. And he also flies through blocks without breaking them. As you can see, glitches through pillars. Um, so yeah, a lot of people thought that was a glitch in console, but it's actually a, uh, design decision. 
Or I, I don't know. I think it was like a design decision because of the new flying things, but whatever. And so yeah, what are we doing here? Uh, first step is take out the towers that we can. So, oh, the, they fly differently on PC. Oh, that was a big. Oh Jesus. Ah. Okay, I tried to. Okay, so we need to be extra careful of these End Dragon direct assault attacks because he is being extra aggressive with them today. Um, you know, I'm, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Like, <laughs> I'm. I'm I'm kind of like, dis I'm kind of like, I was gonna say disgruntled. Cause look, he's just attacking Enderman at this point. Like, you know, I want to attack someone. Player's kind of tricky to attack these days. Let's just attack Enderman. I don't know, I don't, I don't trust the guy this crazy. Can we get that? Ah, oh, we're so close. So I think we're gonna have to tower up because the two of these are actually kind of far away from each other. So the way we'll do this is we'll make a tower around here. Again, kind of just, Lost my sense of everything because I'm terrified and I don't want to die. Because if we die, everything's kind of lost because we're so far away from this. So what we'll do is we'll just build our way around. He will break the blocks if he flies through them, which isn't necessarily a good thing. But for now, we'll have to do. So we'll just do this. Wait, is that... It, it stopped me from breaking blocks, which made me think the dragon's flying there? Oh, okay, so this isn't... What? This must be a, a weird... Oh, okay, so they made the... Towers extra hard to like break and stuff because now we kind of gotta like do some awkward stuff if we want to do that. Okay, so we'll place the water bucket here. Oh, okay. Well, come on. Yes. Oh, oh my. That was literally the life saving moment, and I, I've never done that to a trick on PC before. Just saved my life. Pro tip falling through the air, don't think you're gonna survive. Use a bucket. Use a bucket. Um, oh, okay, and again. Okay. <laughs> this is such an aggressive, um... Oh, also, you gotta watch out for these, um... You gotta really watch out for the, uh, Endermen. They're super, super buffed in 1.9. Like, they really... Oh, I'm so dead. Oh! And... Uh, oh, my God. This this fight... Oh, okay, I spawned here, so I'm actually gonna be fine. This... This is... The <laughs> I think you can all see why the, the new dragon is extra hard to kill. I, um... I, I, I was expecting to just ace it, be like, Oh, we'll do this in, like, five minutes, go extra safe. And then, like, flown by the dragon into the air, like, 30 blocks. Have to do the trick to survive. Um, I, I don't feel quite so epic after that. <laughs> Round two, I guess. I want to do the sensitive thing today. So we'll give it as many rounds as we, you know, as, as, as it takes, I guess. And we'll get this going. Oh, man, that was crazy. <laughs> uh, first first death in the series in a while, right? Uh, but yeah, it's... May, I, Crazy stuff happens. Crazy stuff happens. So we're going to follow the staircase this time. Which admittedly is kind of confusing. Going to get back to the end. We have to fly back, get our stuff. Put it all on instantly. And do a bunch of crazy stuff like that. Which is going to be crazy. Uh, so if you have any like, background noise. Like, it's super weird living in a house of, I guess, loud <laughs> children. Um, and my mic. I, I think um, one of the uh, handy things about like this mic is... Also, people always say it's like covering a bit of my face. It only covers... Like, I guess actually while I'm here, it covers some of my face. Should we just... Is that better? I think, I th yeah, that, that works a bit better. <clears throat> okay, so this time... We're hydrated. We're ready to do this. Okay, run. So while we don't have... Um, we don't have regeneration right now. We don't have any armor. We cannot be hit by anything. Or bad things happen. So what we're going to do... Is we're going to sprint. Sprint jump. Okay, that dragon's in the center. If any of them go after me, it's, it's over. If the dragon goes after me, it's over. So instead... We're just not going to let that happen. Uh, we go, Actually, I guess what we really will do is look at him. But if we look at him, we have to look at the Enderman. We, oh, the pumpkin would have been... Oh, his dragons, his uh, breath stays there. So how are we going to get our stuff if his breath's in the way? Okay, I just I, didn't, I, didn't, I just need the armor as fast as possible if that's okay. Oh, and it hurts. Okay. How do I... Can I have my stuff, please, Mr. Dragon? What, what do we... How do I... <laughs> like... I'm honestly confused here. Well, how do I get that stuff? Does this go away after some time? It can't stay there forever, can it? I need that stuff! Um, because I know the lingering potion effect is a... Because if, if I go in there, I die. But I need to go in there to get my pickaxe to break underneath it. To, to not die. Okay, it's finally gone. It's finally gone. We get the stuff. Put it on instantly. We need to find food. To instantly eat. Come on. Where's the food? Eat food, eat. Uh, keep an eye on the dragon. He's up there in the sky. He's the only thing that's going to kill us right now. So that's good. Okay. So now we need to put the armor on. That's our second precaution. 
to not die forever. I don't know why we can't pick that stuff up. Oh, space. Oh, see you again. <laughs> He's so aggressive. And that full damage thing is uh, not all I necessarily approve of. Okay, then we're going to switch out this for that. We're going to make a safety bunker from Enderman down here. Oh, it doesn't work that way. Uh, we make a mini safety bunker just like that. That we can just get into. The enemy can't. <clears throat> just maybe feel a bit safer. Uh, the end dragon's always going to be a big concern, of course. But again, one one problem at a time here, shall we? Oh, and we got the the, the diamonds achievement for the first time. Not sure why that happened in that way. Um, oh yes, because I never picked up diamonds. The material I always picked up for the block because I mined it. Interesting. Or I guess I didn't pick up the block. But you get the point. Okay, next up, we've got the stuff. I'm going to drop there and I'm going to try and break this again. Ground suit target versus end dragon. Exactly, exactly. So I need to actually. Remange this the other slot. Keeping an eye on the end dragon is so important in this new fight. Like, uh, it's kind of hard to understate or overstate. Just how important that is. So now we've done that, we can do this. Oh, okay. So dragon's behind me. He's really aggressive now. Oh, wait, wait, what we can do to get this is we can just throw a... Oh, no, didn't want to stare at you. It's okay. <laughs> that's, that's super chill here, because there's... <clears throat> I guess when you're around the end of the dragon, you realise... Like, whoa, are we like that to him before? I guess we were. We were real not nice people there. Stack ourselves up. Oh, jeez, he's nearby. Okay, no! Okay, place the block. Okay, we're safe. I need that water bucket handy, so I can do the trick, should it come down to it. Because <laughs> the Ender Dragon is just really certain that I will not get up to this place. And I just want to do it really badly, you know? Okay, this time we'll... Oh, 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 oh see? He is incredibly... No! Okay, getting out of the way, getting out of the way. He is incredibly persistent in his worldview on this. So I guess maybe he does actually literally defend the towers. Like, he doesn't even, um... You know, just defend towers as a concept. He defends the towers as you go up to them. So, let's go for the other one for now. Um... We could use the... Oh, okay. Someone said the bucket in your hotbar. I've already done that, but thank you for the tip anyway. Oh, wait, why am I wrong with that? Okay. Let's do this. Get back up to full health. And then let's start doing this. So I think we might be able to like sneak a snowball in there by doing that, right? Is that gonna work? Oh wait, keep an eye on the end dragon. Always gotta be priority number one. So Oh jeez! <laughs> oh, he's giving me some real opportunities to to like try doing this uh, technique on the fly here. Um, but I, I'm gonna defeat him, it's gonna be done. It might be one of the more difficult things I do in a while, because he's destroying the pathway up each time I do this too. But it's going to be done. Next time he gets into the center, that's my opportunity to strike. Because he's coming back around again. He's coming back around. Do you want to fight? You ready for this? I don't think you're ready. Okay, you are definitely ready for this. He's hitting me even as I'm avoiding him. That's that's taking some serious ability. So yeah, it turns out 30 pork chops are super necessary. Uh, if you want to survive. Oh. And it's got the dragon ref. <laughs> the super dragon ref even. Oh, I guess it's lingering dragon ref, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just waiting to come back, back to the center. I've lost him, which you never want to lose the track it. Right, let's do this. Uh, someone says 1.9 is out tomorrow. It's not out tomorrow, it's out on... Oh, why, why did you get angry at me? What did I do to you? Oh, place the water bucket. Nope. Just, okay. It makes it usually makes them less angry. Not anymore, it seems. Oh, that, that I just broke him there. Um, oh, no. Get out of my way. Okay. So we're going to make a little staircase down here. Keep myself safe. We need to actually eat before we do anything else. Hope the dragon doesn't come here, because if he does, we're just over. Uh, the, the lack of, like, anti-aggro on the Enderman has made this fight extra hard, too. Also, the fact that they... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the fact that they do what they do now is also extra difficult. But we got this. We got this. Okay. No Rhinderman. Just a just a clam up. Okay, we'll do this. We'll do this. Okay, we're safe. Is he in the center? No, he's not. But it, we're still safe somehow. Okay, he's coming back this way. Okay, he's going to the center. No, okay, he's, he's at least not here. He's not here. That's what counts. Okay, now we make like a safety thing around here. We place the bucket down there. And now we build away from this. Again, I'm a lot more cautious of doing this on the PC than I would be elsewhere. You gonna keep your distance from me, maybe? Oh, <laughs> oh man, this is this is dangerous each time I do this. But now we've got the little uh, open entryway where we can throw the snowball. Oh, oh, can we? 
Yes! Okay. That's two down. I would I never thought it'd be such a big accomplishment just to take down these uh, little towers like this, but evidently the game wants it to be one. Uh, so now we've got that done, we should probably do the towers on both sides. So that one up there is going to be next. As soon as the dragon go back to the center, actually. Oh, okay, so we can probably do this by going up just a little bit, right? And then throwing the snowball. Again, I don't want to focus too much effort away from the dragon right now. Did we do it? It's so hard to tell. Like, it's too high up. Okay, so... <laughs> next up, let's, um... So, uh, someone says that something's a good idea. I, I must have missed whatever... Oh, I looked at Enman by accident, and now he's angry at me. I'm sorry. Okay, just just stand there for a little bit. I'll take your ender pearl. Oh, I could use ender pearls to get up to the towers. Oh, I'm not gonna pick any up if that is the case. But still, it's a it's an idea to consider. Did I look at another one? Did I? Jesus, th these guys do not like me looking at them. Okay, no ender pearl this time either. Maybe they've got a lower drop rate in the end, uh, in the end or maybe we got a bad luck. Because I I killed maybe like twelve endermen to get what I did before, and then all oh. Gonna set full health. Then all of this and nothing? Just seems a bit bizarre if you ask me. Oh, I hear him. Okay. He's he's flying away. I don't know why. I guess he just fired the dragon breath and called it a day. Not realizing. Oh, okay. Next tower done. So now this can be our safe ground, right? Maybe. Is that how this works? This can be our a s no, please don't, please don't, please don't come down here. Okay, thank you for listening to my request. Okay, that's the next one done. That one over there is going to be tricky. I don't think I can do that from here. I, I, I entirely like... Oh, so close. I entirely missed there, but... We came... Close and... Oh, oh it's, it's, it's Dragon Breath here. Okay. We're down. Okay, that's... That was just... That was just dangerous up there. Uh, when the Dragon Breath hits you, you have to run. Like, I didn't even... I only registered that at the last hit. Because the Dragon Breath stays there for a very, very long time. Uh, it's only just disappeared now, as you can see. So, okay. Oh, it hasn't even disappeared now. It just disappeared from my view. Okay, so the next ones we need to take out are going to be the super, super hard ones. Oh, no, there's, there's one up there that's going to be easy. Okay, that one, that one there's two. You know, let's just do all these at once. Because once these towers are down, I think the Dragon Fight is going to be doable. But the Dragon's just really good at defending his tower. Oh, perfect. The Dragon's just really good at defending his towers now. But check this. You know... After all this time of uh, being wrecked by people, it makes sense that he's learned a thing or two. So can we do this from down here? If we Oh, we can. Okay. So if we can do it from that height, we can do it from probably most of this height. So let's just stack ourselves up a little bit. Fro, fro, fro. Come on. One of those has got to do it, right? No. It's just not happening. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> one of those somehow hit. Okay. That's next one done. It seems like there's only one or two left now. Because uh, I've gone... No... Okay, we're safe, we're safe. <laughs> See, it's, it's, it's mostly good when the end dragon knocks you distance rather than... Uh, oh, no, okay. It's somehow just dying. Um, when he knocks you for distance rather than... Um, whatever else. Um, oh, it's it's end of an So we can ward fuck it our way away from this. Oh, <laughs> oh and it's raining in the world. Okay, that's death two. That's death two. In the meantime, just going to quickly check on what's going on over here. Okay, things things are going crazy. Everything's going crazy, but it's fine. Oh, the, 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 I've never had like an end dragon fight get my heart like racing and like always on. It, it's it, it is a true boss fight now. I'd say. Obviously, they'll have to buff it in future versions and stuff. But like, if you found the console end dragon fight a bit too easy, or you found the 1.8 one a bit too easy, which it definitely was, uh, this one's given given me a run for my money. Well, I I've never understood that phrase because I mean, I you the update didn't cost anything, so it's not really giving me a run. For, for anything there. But you know, for the, for the phrase's sake, we'll just say that, won't we? Um, use a pumpkin, says the butler. Um, it's a good idea, but the, the vision loss for the dragon might be a bad idea. Uh, plus, where do I find a pumpkin at this, this time of the evening where I need to get my stuff before it despawns? So there's that. Um, if, if only you guys had told me a pumpkin when I asked what we should bring. Yep, blame it on... Blame on everyone else. That's 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 how you get this done. Hashtag blame chat. Comes in annoying to us as uh, Prince Blair. Exactly right. The, the pumpkins they do really limit your vision. Like they are an awesome. Oh, there's my stuff. Oh, there's just a ender pearl. 
We can use this actually though. Let's let's use it. There's also a. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff around here, isn't there? Oh wow, what, what got me there? I'll oh, just random end dragon stuff. Okay, so my stuff is in another cloud. Oh no, it's just outside the cloud. That's handy. Uh, we're gonna have to pick up the stuff with the bucket too, and that's gonna be a mess. But we got most of it right now, so we can just put it on instantly. Okay, throw that away. Put that there. Put all of this on as fast as we can. We've lost the chest plate. Where's the chest plate? Oh, it's over there. Okay, <laughs> we're safe. Put on the chest plate. And then there's one more thing we have to pick up, I think. I honestly, oh, no, now's the safe time. Now's the, oh, it's not. Every time he goes down there, it seems like I'm in a situation where I can't use this. <laughs> Matt, I, I think, like, if you don't know the water pocket technique, how are you meant to do this Ender Dragon fight now without having feather falling? Like, <laughs> like that saved my life more than once. That saved my life more than once. Put water in offhand, please. Uh, that'd be a good idea. But I think food and offhand saves my life just as much. So the water bucket food combination, this is the ultimate one. Because I can I can swivel to the um, water bucket, but I might need to have my sword out at an instant's notice. So that's that's my logic. Hopefully you can uh, get aboard of it. Okay, next up we've got these three towers, so they can all be done hopefully from the same place. Oh, there's a, there's a, what are you doing following me? Why? What did I do to you? Okay. So we just sit in the middle of this for a second. Uh, we'll, we'll take him out. See, so yeah, I think a pumpkin might be extra handy now, because the endermen are so much harder to kill. Which is a real big issue, of course. But, you know, there's a few other things to work out. Um, Someone says, use the bucket to get up to the place. Uh, that's not a terrible idea either, actually. Oh, okay. Stay away from those guys. Oh, they're chasing the ender dragon. That's, that's funny. <laughs> like, I don't know what they think they're going to achieve. But as long as they're not chasing me, I'm okay with their life decisions. Okay, stack ourselves up here. Hope we get all the way to the top. Or most of the way, actually, because we it's a little bit tricky if you go all the way. Got knocked off once more. But it's fine. We got another stack, and that's it. So we, Because while pickaxe is next to dead, we have to be extra careful on this one, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm, like, speaking to collectively, but it's, it's really just me I have to do this with. I guess we can always use the buckets. Worse come to worse. But uh, it's not desirable to want to do that. Uh, oh my, this is so tall. Okay, we, we dodged him by being high up enough. I don't know how that's a dodge. But it is, as it turns out. Okay, so next up, we throw snowballs at the ones next to us. Because those are the easiest ones to hit, I say, while missing both of them. Come on, snubbles, before the dragon gets it. Oh no, come on. Oh. <laughs> like, how was I meant to survive that otherwise? Because I couldn't I couldn't get off my platform. So yeah, we need to climb up there one more time. We do not have the cobblestone, I do not believe. 23 is not enough for that. And we have just one more of these to do. So if we if we just stack ourselves up quite high. Yeah, there's, there's no more left. Um, it's just this one. Which I could have knocked off my way down. I would have felt pretty badass, but... You know, that's... <laughs> I think that's a, a bit too much for me. Oh, no. Okay, so... Stack ourselves up, throw snowballs, win fight. That is my official new plan. Stack, 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 stack. Okay. Snowball, 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 snowball. Come on, one of those is gonna hit. One of those is gonna hit. Come on. How, how, no! Oh, we're stuck in the wall. That's useful. <laughs> oh, and we got hit again, and we're fine. Uh, I don't think we did take out that last tower. Um, I, we can only tell when he gets close by here. I don't want to waste more resources on it so we can confirm. Would he be... Okay, so... Let's let's hit him a few times, see how much damage we're actually doing. Oh, we, we can't reach him. Oh, that... Look at the way the health bar goes down. It's a lot smoother than it works right now. So yeah, we'll take out a bunch of damage, because uh, our sword has a lot of durability anyway. Fortunately, I'm quite familiar with this part of the fight, and I can do this very easily. Yeah, it doesn't... I'm looking up there now, right? And it doesn't look like there's anything, but only time will tell. Okay, does, does anyone think we take it, took it out? Or not? Uh, like, okay, <laughs> we have to kind of wait. We might be able to take him out with one of those crystals still left uh, around. 
I mean, if that is the case. Again, we stare at his health bar while also staring at him while making sure not to stare at Enderman. Nice easy... Oh, right. <laughs> nice easy ask, right? Nice easy ask. Okay, so attack from behind again. But, like, into the body region. Okay, this... I think this is the easy part of the fight where I've, like, kind of got it down. Attack from behind. Keep an eye on his front so you can move with it. And then attack from behind again. Just attack as fast as we can. I should probably be uh, going for the sw full swing each time. Like, oh, there we go. So yeah, even the end dragon now, you've got to bear in mind the new combat. It means you should swing, 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 etc. Rather than tap, 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 tap. Handy little thing. So yeah, I don't think we have to go back up there. Even if it was alive, it's not holding him fast enough to be a problem for us. And just one more time down here, and we've got the victory. We've got the big W. Well, the big V. We can call it a W or a V. Uh, if you think about it, a W is just a double V. Um, come on, Ender Dragon. Oh, I'm, I'm attacking too fast again, right? A swing, attack, swing, attack, swing, attack, swing, attack, swing, attack, swing, attack, swing, attack. Come on. Is that over? Oh, no, he has a death animation now, doesn't he? Or maybe he is not actually dead. Um, you know, I'm. It, this is one snowball worth of damage. You are dying. Or is he? Evidently not. Well, he wants me to die. <laughs> so we're going to get some cobblestone out for in case there's a... You know, I don't know how he's not dead right now. Like, is there a second phase I don't know about? Because that health bar is empty. Oh, thank you for this, sir. Uh, not, not too down with your attacks right now, though. Okay. So yeah, I don't know how he's not dead. Okay, so he's just not dying, is he not? Is that what's happening here? Oh, it was literally one hit away. Okay, that's that answered and done. There is our first 1.9 dragon kill. That was intense. I died a couple times. Was it three times? Uh, but yeah, we get a bunch of XP now. Yeah. We also get an Ender Dragon Egg, which let's take that with us. I feel like we earned it this time, now more than ever. So we'll be a little bit careful about this. Grab a torch. Oh, we already had torches. Um, go like that. Wait, what's what are we doing next? I think we're going for the End Islands, right? Then we're gonna just make sure we grab the end dragon egg. It's always nice to have. You want to have it with you. Break that onto a thing. And boom, we got ourselves the end dragon egg. Wait, let's put that on offhand. Yeah. Right hand, pickaxe. Offhand, and a dragon egg. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad for everyone for being here. So just a quick opportunity to remind you if you like the stream, helps out the channel a lot, lets me know you'd like it. Uh, and also lets me know... You like who ender dragon kills. But in all seriousness, let's actually do the end message. I think you have to do this to get the end crystal. Not the end crystal. The um, It's called the end gateway, I think, the spawn. Do we have to watch the whole thing, though? Okay, we can't. We can escape. Awesome. <laughs> I just I, I wasn't down for watching that whole thing. I've seen it so many times. Because, like, I read through it. I analyzed it. I did all that stuff. And it's just like, you know what? I'm, I'm familiar with your message. I think it's cool. Uh, a lot of people don't like it so much. But I think it's pretty great. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of done with this being the offhand slot because now we've got more dangers to go back to. So we just killed the big, the big, big, the big dragon, the new dragon, all that stuff. But that's really just the start of the new end uh, because now you can respawn the Ender Dragon because uh, you can craft Ender Crystals using glass, IF Enders, some other stuff. But also, if you have Ender Pearls, which I, I have a Ender Pearl, I should probably get a second one before we go. You can go to what is now the End City. So I'm going to show you this new end because. You know, the fight, like I said, the fight is cool and intense and stuff, but it's just the beginning. Also, we should have got wood. Should be, we'll do it this time, because we need the stuff, and we're closest to the surface. Uh, get the Elytra, says Supernova. Yeah, that's why I want to go too. Um, if you don't know, the Elytra, the wings, uh, the wingsuit Minecraft, you can find it in the end city, on the end ship. And yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be great. Um, I tried to root for it, but endless credits. Endless credits? Well, we should think they're endless. Unless I just missed something there. So yeah, we have a way more empty inventory because of all the snowballs and cobblestone we use now. So we can just take some wood of us, which is nice. What are the credits about? Um, the credits, it's kind of like this post scene where the game talks to you. Well, it <clears throat> so um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like spiritual in a way, but like, you know, the non-religious spiritual. Where it's like, so <clears throat> what is the purpose of this life? Um, is you know it's it's, it's you know it's it's I I liked it. It's like saying video games are you know just as important as normal life and stuff. Values I believe in, obviously. That's why I have <laughs> a channel where I play video games. Um, 
which is, uh, again, a weird thing. Okay, so it's this way. My throat's a little bit hoarse, so I'm going to drink some more water from my fancy freeway water bottle. I know, I'm not going to talk about that too much. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's go back to the end, and let's show you the second end. Or, well, really the second end's the second end dragon, but let's show you the kind of brand new part of it. So, now we can go back here. It's like on any other version of the end, where it's like, oh, what do we do now? Well, not a whole bunch. But you'll notice on the right there, that thing has appeared. So what is that, you might question? That's what I'm going to answer. <laughs> I'd be, be terrified I didn't. Be like, well, what is that? I don't know, actually. Let's let's quickly research this. But yeah, so we have to make ourselves a little safety place. Um, easy way to do that is like that, it seems. Little cross. Then we attack an enderman to get his enderpearls. Oh, no, we're trapped outside. This. Okay. Because uh, this, this technique still works, Nenderman. Then we get two enderpearls. So now we want to enderpearl into that place. So there are, again, two ways we can do this. There's the there's a lot more dangerous way. Okay, this is terrifying. I don't want to fall. Uh, but I feel like I'm going to. Let's just not unpress shift, okay? There's no inner dragon still, but like, after that, I've got to be paranoid. I could throw the enderpearl from here, but I'm just, I don't think I'd make it. And I really need to. So, what we'll do, yeah, is we'll... Oh, we got 40 endstone on us somehow. I guess from that explosion uh, crater thing. Use this and we'll get that. And then that takes us to the thing. So okay, you've got the pumpkin. I don't need a pumpkin. Oh, actually, for... Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I could use it this time. So... I was going to say, well, it's a bit late, isn't it? But no, actually, it would be kind of timely. Okay, so then we need to make a little... Should we make a staircase or just... You know, we have uh, water, right? Okay, so just do this. Uh, are we going to make it there? We're going to basically make it there. We can just do uh, Whatever. Wait, can we can we just bridge the... Uh, whatever. <laughs> just to be safe. Uh, I don't know what the, the consequences are of not being safe. But it's better to be safe than sorry. So yeah, there's a little safety thing up there. So what we have to do is enter Pearl into here. There's no way to walk into this. Also, look how cool it looks. Like, I know it's a block, but it looks infinite. So, first of all, we're going to eat, just in case it's dangerous. I don't know. There's, sh there's shulkers there, a brand new mob. You end up pearl in, and boom! We're in the end city. <laughs> and uh, this will take me back, which, again, I should probably look out for, but we'll be fine. So, okay, with all that said, let's show off the new end city. So, there's this new chorus fruit here. You can eat this, and it is food. If it wasn't food, I'd be concerned. It might poison you, actually. Oh, it teleports you. Oh, that's, that's new. Yeah, it just teleports you a little distance. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you get a bunch of these from, um, like, these semi-cactus things. And they're cool because unlike, uh, you know, any other lock in the game besides, like, cacti, these whole things break at once. So next up, we need to find the end cities and end ships. So there's two new structures that can be found here. End cities and end ships. Uh, end ships contain the elytra, end cities contain the new blocks and all that other cool stuff. So uh, actually, you know, I guess we're looking for both at the same time. But which sounds more exciting to, to you, chat, as people who either don't know too much or you just heard about right now. Uh, do you think the end city is cooler or the end ships? Boom. Chat poll. Because uh, there's, there's a lot of people like saying like, ooh, this looks cool and trippy and stuff. And I agree with both those statements. So yeah, it looks like, it's kind of like the never, honestly, at this point. Because there's these big islands you've got to build between. I think this is a, a big response to people asking for a new dimension. Because functionally, it kind of is one, if you think about it, in a lot of ways. Uh, but... Maybe not so much in some others. I wish I had some more blocks to build with. Because I want to bridge it. Oh! Did you hear that? The audio glitched. Okay, it's, it's fine now. So yeah, that was bizarre. So we got to get some blocks to build across here. We could use something else. But no, I think for the most part this can be our stuff. Uh, so chat, I think, is uh, mostly saying ship because of the wings. <laughs> like some people are actually saying because of wings. And uh, that makes sense. I think, you know, wings in Minecraft is something... I don't think people have wanted it for a long time, but the moment you see it, you want it, right? At least that's my experience of it. So yeah, I'm, I, I personally am excited to get those. I want to get those before the stream's done, because I don't know how often this stuff spawns. But we've got time. We've got time. Because, like I said, it's the, it's the last episode. We can make it a bit longer if we want to. And it's going to be great. So yeah, thank you very much for everyone on the feedback on the stuff. I, I, I like using, like, chat to do live pause. Also, oh, we probably could have made this without the... Yeah, that's... Okay, so we use water... Let it fall down. 
Oh, how are we going to get back up? Deal with that later. <laughs> As always, going to be the best solution. Uh, so we should be placing some form of marker of where we're going. But uh, apparently not. <laughs> so we just make a little tunnel up using this. Then we'll end up back at the surface. Okay, so... Um, so, Cat, do you watch Dragon Ball Z? Uh, I only watched it when I was younger. I haven't watched it as an adult. Like I know a lot of people do. So I, I cannot comment on any Dragon Ball Z-specific situations. <laughs> Actually, I, I watched a little bit of Dragon Ball GT, too. Uh, I I like I like them a lot as a child. I don't know if I'd like them going back as an adult. Oh, I mean, I'd, I'd have to check first. Or I'd have to do it to find out. But I don't know. I, I As I think back to, like, as a child, like, watching four episodes of the same fight, it's like... I, I like I like shows to kind of move fast now, and I feel like four episodes for a fight isn't fast. But you know, maybe I should give it a try. Any Dragon Ball Z fans? Do you recommend just starting from the first episode or what? That's that's what I need to know. Shulkers suck. Well, I mean, Shulkers are kind of annoying, and they're not. But they're, they're yeah, they're annoying, not really dangerous. But I guess it's better than just super dangerous, more death. Because <laughs> the end has enough death as it is. That drag, that new dragon, plenty enough death involved there. Um. So get you said three-way water bottle. Would you get them from the side of the road? Says Miguel Valesa. Um, uh, freeway uh, in in the UK, freeways aren't called freeways. They're called wait. Actually, I think highways and roadways. But free, freeways is something else entirely. But I meant freeway like tree, like free. There, there is freeways to drink from this water bottle because it is a fancy water bottle. Also, how much endstone are we gonna end up with? Like I thought, a surface would be here by now. This was clearly a miscalculation. Oh wait, wait, wait. If we just drink the chorus fruit, actually that might kill me. Would it? Should we, I don't want to find out. Because, <laughs> like, it could teleport me into the wall, and then I'd be trapped there. And that doesn't seem like a good idea. Okay, we're finally at the surface. And now we're going to run this way until we find an end ship or an end city. I don't know how... Again, I don't know how common they are. I don't know how roughly common they are. If you could let me know, that'd be great. Do you like One Piece or at least seen it? Uh, no, I haven't actually seen One Piece. So I hear it's pretty good. But, I mean, if I was going to watch it, I'd watch the English version... And uh, people who like uh, animes, like, hate people like me who watch the English versions. I just like to understand what's happening. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I know the reasons why. Um, I think the argument's, like, dub v sub, right? I, I know why the argument exists. I just... I do not partake in it, personally. Um, terror free. Exactly. Wait, terror free? Um... What is the... Okay, no, feel good there. Do you like anime in general, Son says? Uh, I like some animes, but I... You know, I've I've, I've, gone, I've said this before, and I don't... don't like to reiterate anime points too much, but, like, I like anime sometimes, but I don't like the genre because it's the genre. You know? Like, I don't like... Um, let's pick a... I don't like just all animated films, I wouldn't say. Or I don't like all live-action films. Uh, and by the same logic, I wouldn't say I like anime. But I do like some anime. Does that make? I, I I hope I made some sense in there. It's a media, it's a medium, not a uh, genre in my opinion. But it is some to some extent a genre in the Western world. So yeah, these islands just go on kind of forever and ever. Uh, the last time I went through one of these, I found an endline instantly. Oh, there's a shulker over there. Is that a shulker or a chorus? I wish I could zoom in. This is why you need Optifine. I sh I probably should have installed Optifine for the stream, shouldn't I? Oh. Should do that next time. <laughs> we'll make note of that, I guess. So you can build entirely one direction. Terra free is the fancy way to say free on radio. Oh, there's there's a bunch of um bizarre things with radio, right? Like you say certain sounds in certain different ways to make them come across clearer. Th those, there are some things like that I should learn because I mean YouTube videos are kind of like radio. I mean in this case it's kind of like something else, like with the face cam. Uh, by the way, uh, this is something um, I learned from a comment on the second channel. But uh, if you look at... Okay, so look at my background right now. Look at that sword and look at that torch. If you stare at them for long enough, they look like they're floating just uh, randomly on the video, like I put them there. So yeah, that's kind of handy and nice. Is that... Is, are we really not going to find either of these things? Oh, wait, wait. Is that something? Or is that just another island? Uh, yeah, so there's, a, there's just this chorus everywhere. Like, it's just all over the place. What's your favourite type of car? Uh, I'm going to cheat and just say fast types. I like fast cars sometimes. Okay, so again, there's... 
a very bizarre place to explore. I don't know why it needs to be so vast, when there are really two things I'm here for. I'm going to go in that direction, just in case. That is a city. I mean, you... oh wait, you can see the whole thing. It's not. So what do, we, what do we do at this point? Do we just explore infinitely? Um, I don't know. I... What are you doing? I'm looking for an end city or an end island, but I'm not doing a great job of finding it. So if we connect across there, we can walk all the way around that. And then we still, okay. Getting to there is going to be a problem regardless. So let's just bridge the gap at its smallest point. Which is probably just over here. So we can't do this with one stack. Even with a full stack even. I just don't think that's possible. So exactly what we do about that. Do we just turn around and go the other way? I guess we should to, you know, properly look around the place. Let's do that. Okay, so I've I've changed my mind a lot around here, which isn't the best of ideas. But if we turn around, go in a different direction, it'll be good. Just jumped in. What are those fence things? So these, they're kind of like fence looking, I guess. Uh, they're chorus fruit. So that when you eat chorus fruit, you get a little bit of hunger and you teleport. It's actually pretty awesome food. I should use it more. But yeah, if you break one, the whole thing breaks at once. Ooh. <laughs> Something very satisfying about that, right? At least for me. I kind of want to just do it over and over again. Because we need a lot of food anyway. So is there an entity over there? No, there is not. Over there? No. So, actually, if anyone... So people know the seed is 1.9 OBX. Does anyone have, like, a crazy technique on how to just find one with this seed? Because I just want to find one of the things. I just want to fly around on some wings by everyone else. You know, that's all I want to do in the world. Is that so much to ask? I mean, maybe it is. Maybe it is, but... That's just, that's just that. So, again, handy tips from chat. I'll be reading it, keeping an eye on it. Make sure if anyone's like, oh. And so, these ships are rare. I know they're, I mean, I found, I just didn't know they were too rare because um, I found them as soon as I started looking um, last time I did this. Like, uh, it was during a, it was during a top five video uh, of like top five 1.9 features, like months back when it was going to be released before the end of the year. Uh... And yeah, that was that. So, actually, let's see how much these things do restore. Oh, so it's making me flip between the two. That's weird. See, having two foods out at once does give you this confusing way of doing things. But I guess that's that. Okay, so, looking over there, we're seeing an end city. Not seeing one. You need to fly. Oh, I, I, I double-pressed tap space as soon as you said that. And I was like, are we going to... No. I got my hopes so high, and then I got them dashed. This is why comments are a bad thing. Um, how will this work on old gen? Oh, yeah, that's a, that's the really good question you've got to ask. Uh, I guess it's going to be just like a, 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 you know, another dimension, essentially, around the edge of the end. But, uh, yeah, I, I think they could do it. I think it's definitely doable. So we're going to go back to the previous island, or we'll just go along here. See if there's anything in that direction. Because if there was, we want to make sure we do see it. So if you're going to come to the uh, the end islands and look around, I'd recommend bringing a lot of blocks, because you're going to need them, as it turns out. Oh, so we can just walk in this direction instead if we want to. But just look, there's just... It's just island after island after island after island. And, like, only one in, like... I don't know one in how many, but, like, one in every so often will have something. And that's... That's a crazy concept for me. Fly. Do you mean, like... Again, I, I'm, I'm double tapping space, hoping as hard as I can, but that doesn't actually work. Apparently, hopes and dreams aren't enough to uh, fuel flying in Minecraft. So just do a little bit of teleporting each time. That was a really big teleport. Maybe the endermen are just eating chorus fruit all the time, and that's why they hop around. If you have a world next Xbox One, will end city slash new end still be in the world? Uh, I don't see why not, but because it is the same dimension on the PC, they could implement it in the same way on the console. I don't imagine they would. But they might. They might. Like, they, 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 there's a lot of questions the next uh, 1.9 has to answer for, on console. And yeah, that's going to be a thing they're going to have to deal with. It's going to be interesting, it is. Okay, so we make a staircase back up to here. Just like this. Because we could make a giant thing up, but we could also just do it this way. Uses the same number of blocks. And we're just going to go in reverse, because just in case it was the other way. I don't want to just miss it because I went the wrong way from spawn. And then we'll go this way as far as we can until it leads me to a dead end. And then we'll say, well, I guess there's just no end islands. They forgot to put them in. Oh, a clever thing we could do is we could use enderpearls to travel super fast. Because they go a lot further now, right? 
I could be mistaken on that. Also, let's use chorus fruit as our just main food now. Let's just do it. Like, it's gonna be fun. Let's do this. Oh, and we teleport. And we looked at an enemy by accident. Okay, let's just run away from this guy. You know, actually, I did say I wanted to use uh, Ender Pulse as a source of doing stuff. Let's do this. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> okay, we got him. Okay, no Ender Pearl. No fun. Everyone's saying you passed one? Only one person said that. Why are you not using Ender Pearls? Do you mean to get around faster? Because I feel like the amount of time it takes me to kill the Enderman might negate the benefit from using them. Okay, so this is back to the uh, the portal at spawn. We're going to look the other way, just in case that's where there was one. So, um... Do you like vanilla or modern Minecraft better? I much prefer vanilla Minecraft, and I know I'm... I'd actually, I don't think I'm in a minority. I think people who like modern Minecraft, like, understandably, are just kind of bored of the base game. But the base game does still have a lot going for it that a lot of people don't truly appreciate. So there's that. Oh, yeah, so much chorus fruit. <laughs> it's just so awesome. Still so fun. Going creative. Uh, we could always do that worse come to worse. But if I, I'd like to see it for, in survival for the first time. Because otherwise, you know, what's the, what's the point? Just one of the two. You know, I don't need an end ship and an end city. Just one of the two. So we can have some fun. Didn't think it was so much to ask. Um, you passed one. Now a lot of people are saying that. Which makes me suspicious. Which one did I pass? Did I pass an end city or did I pass an end... Uh, the other one. End ship. That's that's the true question. Because I, I, it could be people like a concerted effort just to confuse me and mess with me. Or it could be that I actually passed one. Again, entirely possible. Just not too likely. Oh, should we turn up our run distance too? Turn it up super high. Gonna cause some issues. But now we get supervision. Yeah, there we go. And now we can see if we pass the city without going all the way back. And ship and city come together. Do they really? So yeah, just to make sure... Okay, so... Th if this is an elaborate troll, then I guess you're the ones that watch me go back for what's not there. So maybe that makes it... Better. Oh, I see. Ender pearls can be used to get from island to island much more effectively. That's what the, that's what people mean. Like, I'm just realizing it right now, how that could be handy. I'm a little bit slow at this, aren't I? <laughs> so let's get a bunch of ender, uh, ender pearls, since it's going to be easy enough to do. We just dig ourselves in somewhere. Uh, we're going to get ender pearls, so we can just go around. It was a ship. Okay. I wonder if the trolls... Exactly. I, I just don't know what to believe at this point. Like, um... So... It, mm, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Not gonna. So just fight this guy first of all. Oh, he's gonna try and knock me off. Again, no Ender Pearl. It, it must be that in the end they drop lower now. Because. Okay, look at them all. Look at them all. Okay, look at you. Did I look at them properly? It's actually kind of hard to look at them. Okay, if we do it now, will it just. Oh, it teleports abo above where we were. So then we attack him. Do the same thing. No ender pearls. What is the red light in the back? The red light? There isn't a red light in the back of my... There's like a red box. Uh, I think that's where I saw the N64 games. Okay, second ender pearl. Just so we can, like, go to Wild and better. So yeah, just to make sure... Okay, so this is where we were before. Just to make sure, because it all happened at a sudden moment, and it could have been because I gave one person the um, acknowledgement that they're like, "Aha!" Now, if we say the same thing, we'll get it too. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume chat's a bit better than that. Gonna perhaps wrongly, and we we'll see what goes on there. Okay, so just gonna make sure this is all good. Okay, everything is going good. The stream. They come together. Yep, uh, a lot of people seem to be saying that too. I, I guess it's. I, I really should have read up more about them because I knew I, I only learned about end cities when they first came out, and they've changed a bunch since then. So, or when they first like, even were like properly thought of. So, it makes sense that a lot of my knowledge is outdated, and some of it's just wrong, uh, which is not good. Well, I guess outdated and wrong kind of come together, right? So yeah, now we can just super eagle vision everywhere with our first two chunk distance, and we're looking for like purple blocks. Um, they're like, I guess they look like purple. Really, you can just call them purple blocks. And we look around until we find something. So, over there, 
Is that just two islands above each other? Or is that something? That's just two islands above each other. Okay, we're good. We didn't see it. So, okay, I saw your various mob videos. I, I'm glad, or well, thank you for watching it. Uh, I, I really like making those videos. Uh, like, I know, just learning about random stuff in Minecraft and I make a video on it. Something I really, really like. Because uh, then I can teach you about the stuff that I just enjoyed learning about. I think it's fun anyway. Share so yeah, what well, for the future, if we can't get between islands, we can end up between them. In this particular case, I do not think we went past Nine City. It was just an elaborate trail. So, yeah, that's that's what it was. I mean, we'd be able to see it from here. So, you know what, chat? Um, shame on you. Shame on everyone in chat. You, uh, you did a lie. Look at all those endermen together. If that's not an opportunity, I don't know what is. So we just place a block up there. Now we attack them as a group. Oh, we gotta look at them. Okay, there we go. Get them both over here. Oh, they can actually hit me from there. Oh, you gotta kind of swing around as we're doing this. See, so yeah, you can't actually, like, you can't just go for, like, hits that you know aren't gonna connect. I think I'm gonna die here if I'm not careful. I'm gonna die! <laughs> I didn't make the thing wide enough so they could still attack me, so I had to swing and do the whole thing at the same time. This this has been quite a bizarre stream. I do want to now go find, uh, like, the end island things. Um, just because I'm kind of persistent. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to back out of this world. Just to show you this, we'll just make a brand new world. Creative. New world. Fly in. Just, 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 to, just to sell this. Just be done with it. <laughs> the thing is, is I... Like, usually, you're super, super safe in that situation, but I missed a block, and it made it made an embarrassing mistake. So, just to do this again, but, like, in super speed, because I... They're like, did I go past Nen City? I, I can't sell this out. I'm pretty sure I didn't, but we can't, we, we can't tell that for sure. All we did instead now is we place our end portal. Not in the water. That's a terrible idea. Just one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. Obviously, place the stuff in there. Uh, I think we might have to... Okay, so one, one thing I can actually show that's really cool is you can actually get to the end islands before you beat the ender dragon, technically. Because all you have to do is fly in the direction long enough. I don't know how long you actually have to fly, and I'm terrified of how long it actually is. But I know that it's just out there somewhere. So we're going to go back to solid land. We're going to do, like, a full sprint. And we're just going to go. We can see how long it takes us. Because one, yeah, one of the fun facts is, like, even though you take a portal to get there... It is still the same dimension. So we're looking third person. The cape's flying up behind me. Then we go back to first person. And we just keep on going. Oh, okay. So I'm sorry that there's a lot of drop frames. Everything's suddenly dropping. And just like that, the end islands appear. It took a surprisingly small amount of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the quality live on the go. Thing I can do. Okay, drop the quality means it should have less drop frames, right? Just you don't see or hear anything. And it's happening anyway, apparently. So we go all the way down to the minimum that YouTube recommends. And then we should do a little bit better. Just hopefully. Okay, now we're back at the uh, the end islands. Just because I want to, I want to see this end city island thing together. And uh, you know, since I was going to do it off the stream anyway, I figured let's do it at the end of the stream. We killed the dragon. It was an awesome little survival experience. But before we leave, let's find one of these things. So as you can see, looking around, it, there is just massive like kind of islands like this. They make a big circle around the end. So in theory, you can actually explore all of them. I don't know if you only get one set of end cities or if there's like an unlimited number or like as many as uh, you do happen to find. Okay, here's here we go. See, just like that, I found it after that little time. And um, it's just a handy little thing right there. So this is the end city, as you can see. Uh, it doesn't really look like a city, but it's, it's super, super cool to look at. Like, do you see this thing? Super cool, right? I think so anyway, uh, because as you can see, Join here at the basement. There's a couple of shulker blocks just out here. 
Uh, they look like regular blocks, but they're actually shulkers. It's kind of clever, like if you look at their mobs. Then inside you've got all these new blocks. This is uh, purple. It's, it's a really nice looking block. You go through the thing. Uh, I don't know if we have cheats enabled or not. Okay, we do. So now we uh, now we just pretend. Then you got a little parkour to do, which I think is cool. It's the, I think this is the first naturally built parkour. It's, it's, I guess it's not properly parkour because it's just a staircase. But it's a tricky staircase, darn it. And then, okay, there's a bunch of shulkers. So it, to avoid that, we... Game. Oh, and then they, they give you levitation effects. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of shulkers in here. It's a dangerous place. And there's all these little things on the wall. I think it's a pretty interesting place to be in. And once you do that, you end up just over here. And boom, this is kind of the end result. Which there's more there's more shulkers on the front. So, again, I haven't probably experienced this place in a very long time. And there's an entity just over there, too. Like, there's an entity within distance of this one. But I couldn't find any after all that time. It's crazy. Uh, so yeah, in case you are curious what all these blocks are, there is the end rod, there's the purple blocks, and um, actually, I, don't, I think this is end brick, right? So there's end stone. Can we make... Okay, there's end stone bricks. And then there's purple block, purple stairs, etc. And then there's also end rod, which I imagine would be in here somewhere, right? Yep, we got the end rod. So these are new blocks. You can build some awesome looking stuff. It's got this really kind of... Oh, and there's a chest up here. Oh, a bunch of chests. So this one, uh, beetroot seeds, which is nice and iron. This one, Enchanted Tools. That's actually kind of nice. Oh, with Mending. Mending is a very, very cool enchantment. So I'm glad they put it on there. Uh, mending, if you don't know, uh, when you get XP, it fixes your armor with it instead. So yeah, uh, apparently the two things don't spawn together. Everyone said that the um, end city and the end um, thing spawn together, but I can't see that one from here. So let's fly to the other one, just to get an idea if they're all the same or whatnot. Before we end the stream, because it has been going on for a lot longer than normal. Uh, but I hope everyone has enjoyed the Let's Play so far. It was just a fun little free free part series. Uh, we might do another like streaming series where it's like uh, following it along with the week again. Because I know for a lot of you it's been like, yeah, we follow this world. Or again, I I need to get your true opinions on that with the comments and whatnot. But that's okay. So there's a third one just over there as well, and that might be an end ship. Is it? It's definitely different. Like, look at the way it's spawning in. Yeah, I want to see an end ship for, for real now. Because I've seen all these cities. Yeah, that looks different enough that it might actually just be something different. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, they usually do spawn together. Uh, usually do isn't good enough. Especially with, like, three situations in a row where it didn't. Okay, so that's a... Okay, here's a big one. This is the one I picture when I picture end cities. Okay, there we go, and it's got an end ship next to it. So, with a big end city, you might have a better odds of a big end ship. Who knows? But yeah, you can see this is the same thing as it was down there, but on a way bigger scale. It's got banners on it. Like, you go from one into another, into another. And it's a fun little way across. And then from here, you can get to the end ship, which is a super dangerous place to be. And I assume it's protected by shulkers once more. But on the end ship, well, there's this nice thing up here. On the end ship, there is a chest. And in this chest, oh, there's a brewing stand with some he healing potions, which is nice. But in the hole, there are some chests and another shulker. And in the item frame, there's the Elytra. So we break that. We, well, we just, we didn't even, uh, whatever. But <laughs> we also get a bunch more enchantments. So silk touch shovel, mending pickaxe, some iron ingots, mending iron leggings, protection for helmet. Pretty cool. And of course, we got the Elytra. So the Elytra, in case you haven't seen the Elytra before, it is, you're in for a treat. Because we can fly around the end just for a little bit before we go. Um, the Elytra. It might be a pronounced how you want to do that. So we put this up here. Oh, that's the offhand slot. Put it on there. Go back in survival. And then let's fly around the end, shall we? Gamma uh, S, why not? Okay, let's go. Please tell me I put them on. Did I oh you have to activate them with double space. <laughs> they changed that. It used to be the automatically activated. Um, now you have to double tap space. So yeah, just like this. We are flying around in survival. And this is possible with Elytra. So I want to do that again. Um, but properly. Because <laughs> I was just terrified. Have a little bit there. So let's just, let's just do a proper fly around the end as we say goodbye. You put generate structure off in the beginning. I don't know like what to say about that. Because there are quite clearly structures here. Okay. So now we go back to game of zero. And I'm just going to do this again properly. Boom. Flying around. Looks like this. It's the coolest way to get around in Minecraft is this. Also, your cape will turn into wings. Or your cape will have the wing effect. 
I think that's a nice little change. So, yeah, with all of that said, let's fly out for the end. Let's just say goodbye to this nice world. Hope you did all enjoy watching this mini-series. Ow, that's one way to die, too. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed this mini-series. If you did like it, like it and let me know. Share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Uh, once the stream turns into a video, let me know in the comments what sort of stream series you like the idea of, because, again, streaming is something I want to do a bit more from YouTube. And besides that, uh, follow me at IBX Toy Cat, see stream updates, and I'll see you all in the next one. Gonna smile for a bit more because it usually cuts me off at the end of my streams. <laughs>